Okay, in the middle. Here's the game. Let's start like this. Face each other. Nobody shoots to their legs, to their knees. Nobody shoots to the knees. If you grab a single leg, you have to pick it up waist high or higher. You get it to here, you've won. Good job, you stop. Maybe you take a dig at him. Say, hey, I just scored on you, bro. You might want to defend that single leg. Next, he gets a body lock. Double under, body lock. He stops. He comes back at him, break. He tells him, hey, Ryan, you gotta, you gotta defend my body lock. My body lock is so good. You gotta defend that thing. There's many ways to win. You get a snap down. That's an obvious score. You should not fall to the floor. I want them to think the floor is concrete. Not even your hands. Not even your hands. You get snapped down, get a front head lock. Stay up. Snap down. Lock your hands. That's a win. Ryan won. Okay? Ryan won. We get a go behind. Dan hits an arm drag. It doesn't matter if you're over or under. You've won. You've won. Okay? Double leg, lift. Double leg, lift. You've won. Okay? You guys understand. Okay? If you have a situation where you both have a win, like front headlock for you, body lock for you. Who's won? They both have a win, right? Not until you make the other guy break his lock. Dan breaks Ryan's lock? No. You could do that, but he might lift you. Sprawl. Yes. Dan won. Do it again. Say he tries to choke you. Just lift him. Lift. You lost. If you get lifted, you lost. In the real world, that lift could be swinging you out and planting you in the concrete. Don't get lifted. If a guy has a body lock here, don't try to choke him. Are you crazy? Don't try to choke the guy. Get your hips back. Now choke him. But if he locks, I go, oh, no, no, no. No. I never try to lift a guy, or excuse me, choke a guy who's got to lift. Too risky. Too risky. You guys know how to do it. Single leg, front headlock. Single leg, front headlock. Who has it? Who has it? Which one? No. The guy who breaks the other guy's lock. If he can sprawl, he won. If you can lift, no. You guys gotta learn how to lift. I know he's got a bigger body, but guys, when a guy's here and you're like this, you gotta step and lift. Pick that guy up. Hoist him up. Step, lift. Okay? If a guy's really big, yes, in the real world, you would take him down a different way. But try to lift. Nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets taken down. It's all safe training. All the hand fighting that you know. Let's go. One, two, three. This is uh, the game. So it's called, we call it the pummel game, but a lot of people play pummeling. Pummeling is where you're swimming and you're only going for double unders. This is tying the game all together. Full spectrum of wrestling. Obviously we're not doing uh, judo throws you know we're not we're not picking up like that you could argue that this game could be done with hip throws where if i lift you off the floor i've won this game i i, I kind of made up with my training partner in high school and with the rules and everything i've kind of adapted over the years and this is the reason why we do this is because we can do this on concrete we can do it outside and we do do that we've shown it before on this channel you can train this on concrete and train safely and develop stand-up grappling 
uh, uh, skills. So one guy's going for leg attacks. You see, it doesn't matter your age. We've got like, man, we've got probably like an 18 year old right here going against a gentleman in his 50s. So stand up grappling. He's learning this balance. You know, just because you guys are 55, 60 years old, doesn't mean that you're not gonna end up on the street with some bad dude that could grab you. You have to train yourself and feel what it's like in the room with some young dude, some 20 something that's trying to get a hold of you. So uh, they're going for single legs. We got, look at this. We got a front headlock and a single leg. Who's gonna win? And almost, yeah, good. I like it guys. We gotta get a better lift, Mike, but that was good. Go. So this is what it's all about again, to develop the fine tuning of stand-up grappling skill that is not takedowns. I didn't teach a double leg. I didn't teach a single leg. Oh, you're not teaching technical uh, uh, entries for your Oichigari. No, I didn't because this is more valuable than an offensive move. One move can win you a fight or a match or, or something, right? It can win you a takedown. But this is long lasting. It, you'll take it through your entire journey, journey in life. Anytime you do stand-up grappling, I'll take a guy who does this kind of training over the guy who learns three moves and just practices those offensive moves. He might even be good at one or two of them, but he will have la later down the road, five years goes by, and he will have fundamental movements that he just doesn't understand because he hasn't done enough of this base foundational stand-up wrestling stand-up grappling all right guys thank you so much teach me grappling like share subscribe comment down below let me know what you think and i'll see you guys next time with more great stuff